This video is about the so-called German autumn of 1977. Left-wing terrorists of the Red Army faction abducted the president of the employer association Hans Martin Schleier. They tried to blackmail the German government to release terrorists from prison. The Red Army faction was supported by the Popular Front for the Liberation of Palestine. These terrorists, these Palestinian terrorists, hijacked a Lufthansa flight, but in the end the GSG-9 freed all of the hostages and the Red Army faction murdered Hans Martin Schleier. To the background. The elite unit, anti-terrorist elite unit GSG-9 was founded after the disastrous Munich massacre of 1972. Since 1970, there was left-wing terrorism in Germany. For a few decades more, there was terrorism in the Middle East, Palestinian terrorism. The leaders of the first generation of the Red Army faction were imprisoned in Germany. And there have been some attempts to blackmail the German government before, and they were, these attempts were quite successful. The three surviving terrorists of the Munich massacre were exchanged for a hijacked Lufthansa flight in October 1972. In 1975, German terrorists abducted Peter Lorenz, a conservative, a conservative politician. They achieved the release of six terrorists. In 1977, the Red Army faction started their offensive 77 and murdered Attorney General Siegfried Buback and two members of his detail. Then they mur murdered Jürgen Ponto and with the abduction of Hans Martin Schleier, the German autumn started. He was brought to an apartment house near Cologne and there he had to read the demands of the terrorists. It was the release of 11 imprisoned uh, comrades. Schleier was brought to The Hague and then to Brussels. To support the German, the demands of the German terrorists, Palestinian terrorists, hijacked the Lufthansa flight coming from Mallorca to fly into Frankfurt. Landing in Rome and there uh, the demands were issued, the same as the German terrorists. They continued their flight, but nobody wanted to have them, so they ended up in Dubai. From there they continued to Aden, and now in Aden the runway was blocked, so Captain Schumann had to conduct an emergency landing in the desert. He went outside to check is everything all right with the plane, came back a few minutes late and the leader of the terrorists without any warning shot him. So the situation was very tense and the co-pilot had to bring the Landsuit to Mogadishu. There the hijackers poured alcohol over the hostages and prepared the aircraft to be blown up. They issued an ultimatum until 1500 hours. The German government said, all right, yeah, yeah, yeah fine, we will um, accept your demands, but we need a bit more time to fly out the um, Red Army uh, faction terrorists. So the ultimatum was extended until the early hours of the next day. That was enough, and uh, there was enough time for the GSG-9 to free all of the hostages. Just seven minutes after the operation started, the Chancellor Minister Wyshnevsky informed Chancellor Schmidt about the successful operation. The three imprisoned leaders of the first generation of the Red Army faction, Bader Enzin Rasper, committed suicide, and tragically, the next day, the body of Hans Martin Schleier was discovered on the, on the German French border. There were 10 victims of left wing terrorism during this period. All of the passengers of the Lancet were rescued, but now the left-wing terrorism had passed its climax. The offensive 77 of the Red Army faction failed, and the German authorities, and actually the German society, prevailed and demonstrated we will not be blackmailed anymore. And of course, that was the beginning of the legendary reputation of the GSG-9. That was the German autumn in five.